for me, I had to switch over to behind the neck standing, behind the neck press. Now that's different than seated behind the neck press. Great. Uh, we are slowly talking about this, but we're trying to learn more as we do this. Because I don't want to be the guy over here telling you guys all about peptides when I am at ground zero still. That would be kind of like what they do we, we, we do when we're doing like isolation, right? Your, your cables and you open your hands and you're just focused on that chest and you're trying to let everything else relax. I don't know if I ever told you guys this. Uh, my training partners and me back in Washington set a date of June, uh, June 21st. We were all uh, driving to California and start our bodybuilding careers and movie careers. That's what we were going to do. And when that date arrived, and we set it out like almost, it was like a year from the time we had the talk. Hey, let's save up money. We'll get out there. We'll all share a place. We'll get a place and we're going to make it happen. We're going to live in Venice, California. We're going to train at the Mecca. We're going to go on auditions and we're going to become superstars. The date came uh, a year later, still training together. All of them bailed. All of them bailed. And I did and I have through the years talked to those same guys years later um, to all of them. And I, it's, it's interesting to hear that all of them said within a couple of years, I'm coming down, I'm coming down. And then that coming down or, or moving turned to something else at like 10 years. And then I just talked to one of them the other day and it's been, you know, uh, over 35 years. I've been down here. Gosh, geez. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then you got a kid. Oh, it's and then you're like, married twice, has two kids from two different ladies, does insurance, hates his job. Uh, drinks <laughs> sounds like it sounds like it, but but yeah, it's like uh, the that's a huge jump, and it's funny because all it is is a move. That's all it is is a move, and it's freaking hard for people to do that one move. Hey, Mike, I joined the training crew, love the meal plans and the workouts. I have a technical question why is it that when I press with my hands I open, I feel like it hits the chest more? Oh, yeah, it's uh, so that would be kind of like what they do. We, we, we do when we're doing like isolation, right? Your, your cables and you open your hands and you're just focused on that chest and you're trying to let everything else relax. So it's just that one spot holding when you curl, uh, Charles through the years has had me, uh, crank my wrist back and just cup it. And so I'm dragging the bar sitting like this and I'm dragging it up for the bicep. Those things are great and you do feel like that. But remember, those things are great when you're getting ready for a show or you're dieting down um, to get ready for a photo shoot or, or at that stage. I don't recommend training like that all the time because at the end of the day, which I love that my blood work shows me this, that the poundage, the poundage on your body, which is going to cause stress to the body of that larger amount of weights that you're moving, is going to pay dividends in the long run. And it's going to get those nerves firing in a different way, and it's going to fire up your body. And that's the stuff I'm finding out that I don't think the average Joe or doctor is going to look at and go, well, why are your blood works great here? And why are you doing this, but you're dieting like this? Because that shouldn't happen, or you shouldn't be strong. You shouldn't do this. And all those things are like, well... There's some things that we are doing that is different than most. Um, and, and those things have, over time, been able to help me do what I do today. And so enjoy that moment. Enjoy those isolation times when you relax the hands, you relax everything, and you're tuned to just that one muscle working. But go back to grabbing onto it and feeling it through the whole body so you can add another 100 pounds. Because I guarantee when you do the palms open or those relaxed motions, it's never that that gritty, heavy, heavy weight. So that's the only two things. Enjoy it, do it, um, but also go back to the main uh, grabbing a hold of the bar. You ever notice that when you do that? You know, you can cup it on back and you're like right. thumbs over compared to grabbing yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. Great question though, guys. Wow. Second level today. Thank you. Yeah, Jeff says he's liking to do that too. The hands open, the hands hooked, uh, the thumbs removed. Those are all fun um, at times. Uh, 
And you can do those. You can definitely do that. Um, simple question is you're shutting down the concentration of grabbing a hold and just focusing on the muscle that's pushing the weight. Everybody read that one. Take a second. Read what he just said. And so I love that. You're opening up those pathways again. You're opening up those pathways that you may have closed down or lost just because you're not getting into those kind of ranges of motion in the daily life. When you're at work sitting on the desk typing away or something, that just doesn't do it. Um, something that we, our, our training program uh, switched this week, right? We're, we're all doing that Titan Challenge 4. But one of the things that I had to do is, for me, I had to switch over to behind the neck standing, behind the neck press. Now, that's different than seated behind the neck press. Um, because now you have to straighten that body and put it in a position to where you can still get the bar behind your head. When I sit, I put my ass out so it's easier in a range of motion. I can get it back there easier and push more weight. I loved doing it standing. Um, because I instantly felt a difference like, Ooh, Ooh, that kind of was awkward and I want to be able to do it comfortably. So I fully understand why you're doing this. And then I'm glad you are doing this where most people will go and see something and go, ah, uh, ain't doing that. Great. Uh, we are slowly talking about this, but we're trying to learn more as we do this. Cause I don't want to be the guy over here telling you guys all about peptides when I am at ground zero still uh, fully understanding um, the possibilities that these things do. And then also the other side, Mo, you okay? Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, so as we continue to learn, I will have more discussions on this. And then what we will also do is, in the meantime, I'm going to be trying to reach out um, to get some uh, experts on the field of peptides. Mike, how do I handle family members shaming me for working out trying to improve myself? Wow. It's wild, but I bet that should happen all the time. Yeah. Surrounded by a bunch of people that don't want your progress maybe to point out their failures. So I, that's just basic psych, I think, psychology, is that uh, your initial crew around you especially if you haven't done something like that. They like the normal. They like the, hey, I'm going to have a beer. I'll have a beer with you. Uh, will you have a beer too? I'm going to eat pizza. Will you eat pizza with me? And when any of that kind of gets a hiccup and changing, hey, I'm going to have pizza. No, thanks. I'm doing uh, this program. I'm going to stay on a diet. You're leveling up a little bit, right? In a sense. And so, hey, I'm not going to drink. I'm going to go three months not drinking. I'm changing to get better. That's the individual changing to get better. And from what I understand, the, the, the brain works as the individuals around you want to keep you at their level so they don't have to feel like they have to climb and get better as well. Most people like to stay at that safe position. I'm good. I'm good going to work, coming home, having a beer, relaxing on the couch and living my life that way. So it is a tough thing to get out of it. I, I, for me, I would say, try not to talk about it a lot, try to do it in a, in a, a very subdued way. Um, and in time, hopefully they'll be in turning around and going, Hey man, I'm proud of you. I, I see that you're changing. I see that you're doing this stuff. That's the ultimate goal. Cause besides that, there's nothing I can, there's nothing you can do. I think to help your family um, recognize this. You telling them, hey, I want to better myself. You know, they'll see that in time. I think that's the that's the best thing you can do. But I would say this, if anything, anybody here that has a significant other or, or family members or friends that don't want you to do that or get healthy or eat right or take care of yourself in that sense, that's a tough thing to be around. I would get away from that kind of stuff the best I can. I know I, I know relationships and I have friends that are in a relationship to where the girl does not want the guy to train because if he's training, he's getting better looking, he's getting a better body, and then sooner or later he's going to dump the girl, she feels, because he looks better. So 
Get away from them. Get your stuff going. Jeffrey, go. Oh, that was a good one, though. I appreciate you being open like that. 